Vai pancino, fatti una corsa. Pancio? You know what kid the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! If there's anything I've learned from playing Warframe is that if you use neon green energy, everyone will love you. People complain about Mirage, it's Simulor, no. No, Frost is the king of eyeball rape. But you didn't come here for the talk of eyeball rape, you came here to smell the memes. So here you go. A meme fresh from the fields. It's my Instagram. My, my Instagram is the meme. Fo follow me on Instagram. Ice to see you! Frost's passive is cryogenic. Any melee attack that hits you has a 10% chance to freeze the attacker. If you're at a high level, a melee attack will kill you. If you're at a low level, freezing a butcher is not going to matter. And it only happens 10% of the time. <laughs> Frost's one is freeze. Tonight's forecast? A freeze is coming! Frost shoots a ice. This freezes anything it hits. Oh, it, it hits the name. I, 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 yeah. If freeze hits a wall or the floor, it will create an icy patch that will slow anything that goes near it. Freeze is by far the worst ability in Frost's kit. It's also a spammable one-handed single-target stun. Frost is Frost is a good warframe. Freeze Force is the cold elemental augment and gives allies hit with freeze cold damage on all their weapons. Like the other elemental augments, it is probably not worth a mod slot because you could just freeze enemies instead. In this universe, there is only one absolute. Everything freezes! Frost 2 is Ice Wave. Frost turns the area in front of him into an Olympic figure skating rink. Now that there is topical humor. Any enemies caught in the Ice Wave will take it damage. At lower levels, Ice Wave is pretty decent for killing mobs, but in Sorties or Endless is barely gonna tickle anyone. Ice Wave Impedance, which is not to be confused with Ice Wave Impotence, leaves a trail of frozen ground behind the Ice Wave for 12 seconds. Enemies that step on the frozen ground will be slowed. Hey, wow, look at, look at that. Suddenly this ability is good! Ice Wave's inherent spammability combined with the heavy slow makes defending points ridiculously easy. Something very important to remember is that in Warframe, slows lower fire rate as well as movement speed. So you're cutting that heavy gunner's DPS way down. Plus it makes the infested your bitch. But if you really want to defend something, you're gonna want to press 3. Frost 3 is Snow Globe. Frost spawns a globe with 5000 health that scales with 500% of his armor. The globe is completely invulnerable for 4 seconds after it spawns. During this time, any damage that it takes will be added to its health. When Snow Globe is activated, any enemy within its range will be frozen and violently flung away from it, dealing up to 50% of their health as finisher damage if they hit a wall, and any enemy that tries to enter the globe will be slowed. You can control up to four globes at a time, but placing a Snow Globe inside another will remove the first and combine their health up to a cap of 1 million, and casting Freeze on a Snow Globe will destroy it, dealing damage and knocking down all enemies inside it. This ability is absolutely insane. If you want something defended, be it the cryopod, your teammates, or you, this is the single best ability in the game for that exact purpose. Might also be the single best panic button in the game. You can just smash that like button, three, three button, and every enemy around you will no longer be. Another fun thing to note is that Snow Globe is the only wall in the entire game that can block the explosions of Bombard Rockets. So if you want to fight bullshit with bullshit, there you go. Chilling Globe has a 50% chance of freezing enemies that enter the globe. This is usually kind of overkill, but if you want to have an even easier time with Infested, you run this. It probably just won't take damage, that whole mission. Cool party! Frost's 4 is Avalanche. Frost deals damage to all enemies within range and freezes them while also reducing their armor by 40%, scaling with power strength. Who needs corrosive procs when you have a massive AoE CC armor shred? <laughs> this is the second best mass CC ability in the game and it makes any enemy die if they're sneezed on. 
Icy Avalanche gives all allies in its range 60 damage reduction for each enemy in it, scaling with ability strength, while also giving them immunity from knockdown and status effects as long as it's active. So if you hit 10 enemies, all allies within your range get 600 shields, if you have 0 power strength, and CC immunity. It baffles me that this augment isn't used more. It's kind of situational, but it makes Frost so much harder to kill. There's also a lot of frames that just straight up die if they get CC'd, and this really helps with that. So Frost has a lot of builds. Something great is that Snow Globe, Frost's best ability, doesn't need anything put into it. You can always just refresh the globe or keep them stacked to keep a cryopod or yourself defended. So what I like to do personally is spec towards either Ice Wave or Avalanche. The Ice Wave build takes its augment, some efficiency and duration, and then spams 2 and 3. If the enemies can get through the doorway, then you're doing something very wrong. The Avalanche build takes the augment, some efficiency, strength, and range with many a tank stat. This kind of is less good most of the time, but it makes you very hard to kill an Endless, which is a lot of fun. Plus, if you have Xenoric, you can lose the efficiency and just take all the tank stats. Yeah, I, I love Frost. He's a cool dude.